Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Diablo 4 build video. In this video, I'd like to share with you my uh, summoner necromancer build that I've used in order to progress to uh, the end game, level 50, and on that straight off the bat. So, uh, use the timestamps to maneuver through the video, and let's kick it off. Alright, for starters, we're going to start off with the Book of the Dead. So, for the Book of the Dead uh, Skeleton Warriors, I use Reapers and the guys who have the chance to form a corpse. Because I need corpses in case if my minions die, uh, I need to kind of like bring them up. Usually, I end up having a lot of corpses, but during boss fights, the corpse really helps. Because uh, if I remove the corpse guys and the boss end up killing my skeletons, I'll need my ultimate to kind of like bring my army back. Because that's the main hitter. My current character is not the main hitter. Uh, for these skeleton mages I'm using uh, the uh, sh shadow 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 mages yeah <laughs> and uh, I'm using the one who have a 10% chance to stun the enemy for two seconds so basically this gonna happen to the same enemy uh, more than once every five seconds actually pretty good I keep on debating between these two, but for a lot more damage, uh, bone guys are pretty good. I'm aiming to use these guys, but these guys they die a lot, so uh, but they are a lot more stronger. But anyway, for the golem, I'm using uh, every fifth. Well, I'm using the who's that? The iron golem, and I'm using every fifth iron golem attack because it's shockwave dealing x amount of damage. So why I decided not to use the vulnerable because I have another skill which works pretty well and uh, I really like that every fifth I'm bam so he's also a pretty good damage dealer. Alright so let's begin with the skills. For, for the basic skills uh, the only important thing here is this. Basically when I'm using uh, that skill I boost the, the damage of my minions because my minions are the main damage dealers right my character does not deal damage whatsoever uh, from core skills I also do not use any spells I did this upgrade which is a lucky hit to create a corpse right uh, then uh, from corpse and this other skill which I can't pronounce because I'm from Ukraine sometimes I mispronounce stuff uh, boost to my skeleton warriors as the main thing and these two are just good to have so I'm not gonna go into more details from curses this is the thing I use pretty much all the time I spam it all the time. Uh, first of all, it slows them down. Second of all, it uh, makes them do less damage, if I'm not mistaken. But the most important upgrade is this one right here. So it's a lucky hit chance. Enemies, while affiliate, well affected by this uh, curse, uh, they reduce your active cooldowns by one, which is the best for me because I'm trying to uh, use my ultimate all the time. Basically, my focus is. On the damage for my minions and on the damage for my ultimate and obviously this thing helps to uh, quickly uh, get my uh, ultimate running with other spells as well which I'm going to and obviously uh, skeleton mage mastery is another thing which is must have so over here in this tree all of this is good and uh, additional 9% increased damage to cursed enemies uh, I still need to by the way, it says this out if it actually works on minions. I think it does. It, it did kind of like boost it, but I'm not sure on that part over there. Okay. Now, the second main skill that I keep using is the corpse uh, tendrils uh, with the upgrade for vulnerability. So, whoever gets hit by that spell, well, by that skill, they all become vulnerable. Plus, in addition, they get sucked in into like a uh, they just get sucked into it and uh, it groups the enemies up and when my minions will do the rest of the damage and my golem will use his skill in order to do uh, mass damage. Uh, this is good to have uh, when, a, when a corpse is formed from your skill your minions fortify so they get extra HP which is nice. So this is my go to from uh, the skill from the corpses. And obviously for the ultimate, I'm using the uh, Army of the Dead with all the upgrades. So uh, when the skeletons explode, they have 15% chance to leave a corpse. And this is also a really nice one in case if I don't have any corpses. Really useful during boss fights. If I have no corpses, I use this uh, my ultimate. My ultimate deals a, like a decent amount of damage and also brings up uh, any uh, dead skeletons. Um, Golem Mastery, obviously, and more other uh, passive skills for my uh, army, right? So these ones right here, 
which also gives them really nice boosts. And for the final one, uh, the key passive would be uh, Kalan's Addict. Uh, because, as I said, my minions are my main damage dealers, and I usually just go and spam corpses and use my basic skill just to form a few corpses. Uh, and I try not to get hit, because uh, after you have not taken damage in the last 3 seconds, your minions gain 15 plus, well, 15% attack speed, while you have at least 7 minions, uh, this bonus is doubled. So you get 30% right if you have over 7 this is just crazy right did I get, get that right I actually just noticed that <laughs> I was always thinking it's 15% so uh, minions given 15% attack speed while you have at least 7 minions this this is double it's even better than I thought man <laughs> so this thing works really really nice and I, as you can see I have what 12 summons including my golem I, I assume yeah, it's for minions, so it's so it's 13 dudes I have uh, active. Anyway, uh, this is my skill tree. I'm not gonna go into Paragon because Paragon doesn't didn't really play a big difference when I was playing on Veteran. Right now in my Nightmare, I'm just starting out, but I decided it would be cool if I leave some information about my build. Maybe you'll take a few hints from here, or maybe you could recommend something to me. That would be great in the comments, obviously. Now let's move on to the gear. Alright, so here we go, here we go. As you can see, not most of my gear is upgraded, and I don't even have full legendaries, because I really didn't need it, and I didn't feel like uh, wasting any of the resources on upgrading. I was doing pretty fine on Nightmare. Essentially, I am going to do a lot of changes, uh, but the main uh, affixes that I was uh, focusing on would be anything that boosts my minions. So minion attack speed, summoning skill uh, damage, it applies to minions as far as I understood, and it does. Uh, and uh, minions HP, so anything that gives me that, it's my go-to. Uh, the next thing that I focus on would be uh, extra damage to vulnerable enemies, right? Uh, ultimate damage and uh, damage to slow enemies so all that really boosts uh, the damage and the guys are just totally killing it and a little bit of healing but I'm thinking of replacing that with more HP uh, but yeah so the aspects if I'm not mistaken right legendary effects how I call them okay uh, to increase the amount of skeleton mages, to increase the amount of warriors. I would actually prefer to have more mages than warriors, but it happens to be so that I have more warriors and uh, less mages. But still, these two is like a must. Uh, then uh, a damaging barrier, so a damaging an elite enemy grants you a barrier absorbing because uh, it really helps to keep my other passives active because like when you're healthy my skeletons deal more damage or attack speed they have more attack speed so I need to make sure that I'm always on maximum HP uh, then each time one of your summoning minions damages an enemy they gain 11% to attack speed for 3 seconds up to 33 uh, while you have 7 or more minions uh, your minions gain 16% increased damage reduction so they take less damage uh, then decompose well this is not really a big difference or a game changer because as I said I don't usually use the basic skill uh, over here we don't have anything but we do have ranks to my uh, corpse uh, tendrils which I use all the time and for the weapon we've got your skeletons gain increased uh, damage while alive up to 40% I put it on my uh, two-handed to uh, double the results uh, basically I got that effect from this dungeon uh, this dungeon right here really good dungeon and that's where I unlocked that skill all other skills I've gotten through well mainly gambling to be honest and uh, through events as well uh, but it is what it is so yeah well in terms of uh, affix 6 I still focus to get more intelligence and now that we have the uh, Paragon and we need to activate these stuff stuff. I'm gonna start playing around a little bit more But anyway, this is the build that helped me to get through veteran to level 50 kill Lilith didn't die uh, And I'm still doing decent amount of damage right now on nightmare uh, World tier 3 which I'm gonna show you a couple of fights right now so you can see the actual build in action All right, so let's see how this performs. So as you can see I spam them with my uh, 
purse, then I use the corpse tendrils, and they all go down pretty easy. And uh, good thing is we have uh, an event happening right here. Oh yeah, one sec. I think I forgot to mention there is one. Do you require a? I had one. Ah, wait, I forgot to mention this one. While your army of the dead is active, your minions gain uh, 70... This is why I love the build. Gain 70 attack speed and take less damage. <laughs> I love the thing. Why is everything just... And this is on vet. I personally really enjoy this build. Very easy to play. More survivability. I'm not ready yet. Like a very chill build, I would say. <laughs> These elites just dying. Alright, now we're gonna have a little party time. Bye. This is good. Ooh, sacred. Hello. What do you do? You heal for 31 life per second for each close enemy. Oh man, that is actually really nice for sur survivability. I might even gonna use that, <laughs> but not now. I need to find my other, my skeletons, skeleton mages, before I put that helmet on. All right, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. And uh, yeah, feel free to share your feedback. Uh, are you playing a summoning uh, necromancer? How's it going for you? What do you prefer to use? And stuff like that. Please do share that info, and uh, possibly we'll be able to build something real cool together, huh? <laughs> or and I hope you learned something from me. I mean, I'm not one of those pro, 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 but it is what it is, huh? See you later.